Welcome to the Startup CEO Lifestyle TV. If this is your first time here, don't let it be your last. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. As you see, we are on another road trip. Today we are touring the town of Medora, Indiana. You may ask where this is. It's in the middle of nowhere <laughs> with about 600 or so residents living in this small town but we're not here just for that we're here because something special going on in this town they have their own pro basketball team believe it or not the Medora Timberjacks have landed in Medora Indiana and I suggest you check them out but while here we are going to take a road trip there is some history that resides in Medora, Indiana, on the little outskirts of it. But we are going through every piece of land, seeing all kind of farmland, cows, horses, pigs, just land period, water, everything. And it was a really interesting ride because we're going to see the oldest covered bridge in the United States. So stay tuned as we hit this road trip and you too can see what makes this covered bridge so special. So looks like we finally made it here y'all, but um, <laughs> the GPS said get out of your car and walk five miles. Um, mind you, it's a lot of terrain out here. Looks like it's kind of cut off by water, trees. The hubby is experimental and he likes to get out and experience things. But look, sister girl, a little scary. I can't swim, number one, but he's going to go check it out to see if it's worth walking five miles to get to that bridge. I'm thinking we came the wrong way, but I'm going to let hubby make that decision, okay? So we tried to see the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Womack tried to turn around and we kind of got stuck in the mud. You should have seen his eyes. <laughs> we are out here. It was so much water. And he just told the story of his dad um, living in Tennessee. And what did you say? They were all venturing in the woods and he fell in some quicksand. And he fell in some quicksand. And I'm scared. I almost covered him. And he loves his daddy. I love my daddy in love. So I can imagine what that story is about. But we really wanted to go see the covered bridge in Medora. Unfortunately, it is covered underwater. I mean, and this was like a two mile trip down here just to see that. And the mileage indicator did not enforce that it was underwater. So uh, we're headed back out and headed back to our destination. It would have been a great sight to see because it is one of the oldest, um, actually it's the only covered bridge in the United States. Hopefully next time we're out in this area, we'll be able to see it, but I don't know if I wanna drive back down up in here. Cause, yeah, I'm not feeling that. Yeah, I'm not feeling that because it's, it's really um, rocky and gravelly. And when you're from the city or county or whatever you wanna call it, this is a little um, different, but okay well we'll talk to you soon blessings and peace thanks for tuning in mr Roman. peace happy birthday to me <laughs> yes 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 it is his birthday he is 53 today 53 wonderful years that god has blessed him with and we're asking for more abundance joy happiness and peace health wellness and we pre i i speak favor and happiness every day because i believe you speak over yourself then god and the universe hears you and it delivers so blessings and peace happy birthday baby thank you you're welcome thank you. So you may be asking, why are they trying to see this bridge? Let me tell you something. When hubby and I travel, especially road trips, we love to make detours and stops into historic areas that make communities. Uh-oh, brother man got stuck. Praise God. But anyway, we like to take time to visit communities and um, just take in the historic areas that are around us because there's so much history that we are never taught in school. But let me tell you something, we ran into this bridge because we got lost. We found it. So the thing about GPS is sometimes they don't lead you in the right direction. And that's what we have found. We drove all the way around in God knows where. And 
<laughs> in the dungeon of the woods in the country or whatever and there's the bridge right there look at god okay he led us to the right destination so we're gonna go up and take a picture obviously you cannot drive through it because it is structurally not safe but we're gonna go up and see what we can see inside of it stay tuned so just a little history about the Medora Covered Bridge. It is the longest covered bridge in the United States with the entire original historic truss still in place with some repairs, but no structural changes. This bridge is located in Carr Township in Jackson County, Indiana, and crosses the East Fork of the White River running parallel to State Road 235. The Medora Covered Bridge was built in 1875 by J.J. Daniel at a cost of $18,142 and took nine months to build. You may ask, why is the bridge covered? Well, it was covered to protect the to protect the truss from the elements, rain, snow, water, all that kind of stuff. But before the bridge was built, people crossed the river by ferry. It has been reported, but not verified, that at one time there was wooden railing down the middle of the bridge separating the two-way traffic. Ooh, how scary. As the vehicles became wider, the railing was removed and it was then a one-way. Until 1935, the bridge carried U.S. Route 50 when it was moved four miles to the north. In 1968, a year before I was born, the bridge was scheduled for demolition when the new modern parallel bridge was to be opened, but was saved by an order from the governor Whitcomb in 1971. A modern parallel bridge was opened in 1973. The bridge covered was closed to vehicular traffic at that time. In 2007, the bridge was added to the National Register of Historic Places. In 2011, June 2011, a rehab of the bridge was completed. The original truss remained in place with a few repairs. The cedar shake, shingles, siding, and all that kind of good stuff were replaced on the north side of the far west, and pillions from the rafters were replaced as well, except for the shingles. Most of these items are original, but badly deteriorated. This information came from Wikipedia. Feel free to check it out. Much of the flooring was replaced, but was not original. So earlier I told you this is the only covered bridge in the United States. Well, misinformation right there, so I'm correcting it, okay? Um, this is the oldest. I reiterate, this is the oldest covered bridge in the United States, but Indiana itself has a list of about 98 historic wooden covered bridges in the United States of Indiana. 14 of these bridges were built before 1870 and represent the most common truss styles, which is the Burr Arch in Indiana. Overall, we had a great time. You see me out there dancing and doing all my little good stuff in front of that bridge. History. History is something we all need to learn about. And then Hubby. It's his birthday, so we were really celebrating really loud. He doesn't really like to take pictures, but we also saw this over there. Somebody put their little love mark on there. We didn't want to do that because we didn't know if cameras were watching or not. <laughs> and then this is history. Who wants to destroy history? History is something that we all need to learn from, be aware of, and make certain that we share it. I don't know what that is, but it looks significant because it's next to the bridge. So I said, let me take a video out of it. Have fun, enjoy life, travel, get you some history in your life, and always, always make it a great day. Toodles! Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Blessings and peace unto you. Until next time.